ragazzi, benvenuti sul mio canale. Today I'm going to be talking about five things I learned while living in Italy. So a few months back I decided I wanted to move to Italy long term, so many many years I wanted to live in Italy and I booked my flight, I planned out my trip um, and basically my plan was to live in Italy for free and if you want to learn more about that I have a video all about it in the card up here and in the description um, and if you also want to know why I actually wanted to move to Italy in the first place you can check that out in the card here in the description again um, but yeah I decided I wanted to move there long term and kind of live there for free while making a bit of money on the side as well just to kind of experience the culture first of all maybe for the first uh, year or so and then rent my own apartment that was kind of the plan um, and I actually moved there around two months ago now um, and had a really really great experience but after those two months I have decided I don't want to move there long term right now right now is just not a good time for me maybe in the future I'll decide to move back there but um, yeah, it's just not, it's not the right time for me to move there long term. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But I did want to share my experience and five things I've learned uh, while living in Italy. In case you are thinking of moving to Italy um, and want to learn other people's experiences and reasons people do move back. So I have seen a couple of these and I did actually watch a couple before I decided to move there. And they were very interesting for me and obviously they're, they're things they learn weren't relevant to me, but it was still interesting to learn and I think it will be the same if you're watching this as well. So the first thing that I learned uh, while living in Italy was about the education system. And I personally don't prefer the Italian um, education system compared to the UK education system. I much prefer the UK education system because um, in Italy, by the way, I worked um, as an au pair and in total I looked after five children during my time working and living in Italy. So I did get an experience of various schools, five schools actually, because each child actually went to a different school. So I got a really great experience with Italian schools. Um, but anyway, um, in Italy, the education system is a little bit strange, um, <laughs> to be honest, compared to the UK one anyway. It's a little bit difficult to get used to. Obviously they call the schools different names you go to various schools at different ages compared to the UK that's that's not my main point my main point is there's an age range which the kids are when they're going to school uh, when they actually finish at 1 p.m. so they finish at 9 a.m. and they finish at 1 p.m. and I personally think that's really strange uh, coming from the UK anyway and then they by the way they go to school on Saturday as well so they finish halfway through the day and I just think like for the parents it must be really difficult to sort out like like, um, I don't know, people to look after the kids when they finish at one o'clock because normally, you know, parents finish finish work at like 6 p.m. or something. So that's like five hours that the kids have nothing to do. And I just prefer the UK education system in that way because in the UK, the kids finish at like 3.30 and they can go to some sort of after school club. But in Italy, from my experience anyway, I may be mistaken. If I am mistaken, please do let me know in the comments below um, that there isn't really any after school clubs and it's usually the grandparents who look after the children. So it's it's nice in that way because the, the children can get to know their grandparents really well because they are with them for like five hours a day or more. Um, but also I'm like, they could be learning then and then just have their weekend off. Um, that's how I viewed it anyway. So just as an example, when I was staying in Verona, I was looking after three kids. Each of the kids was in a different school. One of them was four, one of them was eight, and one of them was 10. And yeah, they were in different schools and they all finished different times. So one of them finished at 1 p.m., one of them finished at 2 p.m., and one of them finished at 3.30 p.m. So just imagine that for a parent trying to go from the different schools. It's quite long and it takes so much of your day. And I'm like, there's, there's definitely an easier way around this. Um, just coming from an outside opinion, it, there's surely an easier way to do it. But that's just a point I wanted to make um, in this video because if you are thinking of moving to Italy with your children, just consider that 
um, the school system is a little bit all over the place with the timings and this different loads of different schools and yeah it's it's a little bit long like that but just so that you know if you are interested in moving to Italy with children. <laughs> Another thing I learned while living in Italy and this is again more specifically about Italy as a country um, there are so many places to explore in the country so with the family I was staying in Verona they actually owned a camper van and on the weekends we would travel to different lakes and different cities so I got to see Lake Garda I also got to see uh, a lake like really in the north of Italy so it was like a three hour drive from Verona and because of the camper van we got the opportunity to stay there over the weekend and it was really really nice and there are so many places to explore that don't have like any tourists and you can have a really authentic experience experience like this um also my favorite city in Italy so far I haven't been to all of them obviously is um Verona I think it's absolutely beautiful there's everything you could want from a city there's like the nightlife it's really busy um there's the tourist attractions there's the history behind it um, there's also like you can walk to the outskirts and it's just it's just really nice and out of the way It's just everything about Verona. I absolutely love right now if I wanted to like rent an apartment in Italy I would definitely go to Verona and rent an apartment there because it's relatively reasonably priced to live there and also it's just beautiful and there's so much around the city as well as in the city as well now the three other points that I wanted to make um, are kind of about like personal growth and about me personally what I learned and how I've like kind of developed my personality so I found that the busier I was during my time in Italy the less I thought about like sleeping and how tired I was because in Verona I didn't get a lot of sleep I was in a small apartment and everyone was very close to each other I was sleeping in one of the kids rooms like there was no really escaping from it you know um, um, but it was really fun and I got so many hours of work in and yeah I was just so so busy doing all sorts of things I was running from being a tourist to going to Verona in the morning to quickly running back and having lunch with the grandparents to picking the kids up from school and playing with them and teaching them English and all sorts I was so busy and even though I didn't get many hours of sleep and the kids were always there I um, never really thought about sleep to be honest it's only when I came back home that I was like wow I haven't slept in a while so I think I just want to keep myself busy because then I don't think about the little irrelevant things like oh, I'm a bit tired right now like just keep yourself busy that's what I want to do anyway <laughs> if you're subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video because you found my channel through the video I made about Italian youtubers the next point is completely relevant to that because um, before going to Italy I watched so many youtubers right and I got such like an artistic vision of Italy and it is, it's absolutely beautiful. There's, there's no doubt about that. I cannot argue with that fact. But also it makes like watching these types of artistic Italian videos um, creates like an image of Italy that you as a person are gonna change once you get to the country. Do you know what I mean? So if you watch the video about reasons I'm moving to Italy, I talk about like, oh, I want to like uh, focus on this in my life and do this and uh, I want to be more like this. And in reality, me as a person doesn't change just because I'm in a country where a lot of people are outside a lot. I, I like being inside and I've spent so many years inside and I like working online and inside that even though I'm in Italy and most people, yeah, do work outside in a way, that's kind of a weird sentence I feel like. It doesn't change me as a person, that's my point. It doesn't change me as a person. Um, I'm still the same person with the same insecurities and opinions on things and yeah, that's just not gonna change the country I go to. So that's definitely something I learned while being in Italy. The last thing that I have learned while living in Italy is I absolutely love traveling. I think the majority of people love traveling, but I personally love change. Like I love changing things in my life. Some people just don't, People. some people like having a routine and that's okay. But me personally, I've always changed schools. I, I've changed kind of like career goals and completely changed my life in that way, changed the city I live in that sort of thing so traveling just really brings me that joy of 
chain constant chain but when I've come back I definitely do still aim to be traveling around Italy every few months um, and go to a different province or a different city um, and yeah I still aim to travel because I do love it so much and I have realized that uh, when I go because every time I go on a plane I feel really emotional like I feel super proud of myself that I have funded my my travels, I'm actually going out and doing something exciting and doing what I want to do, you know, making sure nothing ho like holds me back and I, that I always get so proud of myself um, when I'm on the plane, that specific moment where we're taking off and landing, I feel like I'm going to cry and sometimes, you know, I do cry so <laughs> yeah, I do love travelling. This is the reason I'm actually not going to be living in Italy for the time being anyway um, and instead I'm actually going to be moving to Moscow go in Russia in just a few weeks now. I know crazy I've gone from Italy to London to Russia a bit crazy but this is what I'm going to be doing because it's that this time has made me realize um that I just I love I love being with my boyfriend it sounds really cringe but um I do and for that reason I'm moving to Russia also if you didn't know already I'm actually half Russian um and half American but um I have like Russian citizenship so I can actually live in Russia so it makes it super easy because obviously Britain's leaving the EU so it doesn't make it as easy to live in Italy anymore so I mean that's that's not relevant to this but you know it could cause problems <laughs> down the line if I'm living in Italy and then you know Brexit happens in a few weeks or a few months or whatever so um yeah I have that in Russia so another great reason also I've actually never been to Moscow before and that's where I'm going to be living um but yeah I'm super excited and if you are subscribed because you want to see Italy content I will still be traveling to Italy every few months as I mentioned so you're still going to be seeing a lot of Italy content but I think the majority of it is going to be Russian focus or language focus I'm also um going to be online tutoring like literally in like two days I'm going to start online tutoring so I'm going to be sharing my experience doing that making money online that sort of thing so my channel and my videos are going to change a bit I know that me and my boyfriend are planning on doing videos together and he's going to do some videos on his own and stuff like that so it's probably going to be like a joint channel I'm not sure yet we'll have to see in a few weeks but um I think the content's gonna be really good I'm still gonna hold up the same standard don't worry um but yeah I'm excited it's a change and as you know I love changes so it should be exciting and it's a new city new country new things to talk about uh, because there's so much you can talk about Italy and there's so much you can talk about Russia but you know two different subjects Italy Russia Italy Russia uh, maybe throw in some London in there. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like it's been a really chatty video and I hope you enjoyed this slightly longer chatty video. And If you did, do let me know in the comments because I'll make sure to do more of these types of chatty laid back videos because normally my videos are more structured. But um, yeah, do let me know what you think and if you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content about Italy, uh, Russia and maybe London and maybe teaching and maybe other things too but I'll try to keep it focused on like traveling and stuff like that so yeah see you next Saturday for a new video bye <laughs>